hello friends welcome to my youtube channel myself mohammad sohil and today is we are going to start new subject from b farm fifth semester that is industrial pharmacy first in this lecture we are going to start unit third so this lecture is going to be very interesting to all of you so it's my request to you if you people have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss any update from my youtube channel so without any further delay Let's begin with our today's session. In this lecture, we will see introduction of capsule, what is the advantages or disadvantages of capsule, then what is hard gelatin capsule, and in next video, we will see soft gelatin capsule. So first of all, what do you mean by capsule? So, capsule are the solid dosage form in which drug substance are enclosed within hard or soft soluble shell. These shell are formed from gelatin. Capsule are of two types. First, hard gelatin capsule and second, soft gelatin capsule. These capsule are made up of gelatin blends. A small amount of certified dyes, opaquants, preservatives and plasticizers. Then what do you mean by gelatin? Because capsule shell are formed from gelatin. Gelatin is a heterogeneous product derived from hydrolytic extraction of animal collagen. There are two types of gelatin. Type A. It is derived from acid treated precursor that exhibit an isoelectric point at pH minus 9. It is manufactured from pork skin. Then type B gelatin. It is derived from acid treated precursor that exhibit an isoelectric point at pH minus 4.7. It is manufactured from animal bones. Now coming to the advantages of capsule. Capsule are tasteless, odorless and can easily be administered. Capsule is the combination of powder. We can use it easily. These are attractive in appearance. The drug having unpleasant odor and taste are enclosed in a tasteless shell. Capsule can be filled quick, quickly and conveniently. Physician can change the dose and combination of drug according to patient requirement. They are economical and they are easy to handle and carry. Then moving forward to the disadvantages of capsule. Hygroscopic drugs are not suitable for filling into capsule because they absorb water present in capsule shell. It makes shell very brittle and ultimately lead to crumble into pieces. The concentrated solution which require previous dilution are unsuitable for capsule because if administered as such lead to irritation into stomach. Production of hard gelatin capsule shell now coming to our actual topic that is hard gelatin capsule the hard gelatin capsule consists of two pieces in the form of cylinders closed at one end the shorter piece is called the cap this cap fits over the open end of longer pieces called body hard gelatin capsule are also known as dry filled capsule or two piece capsule hard gelatin capsule consists of two parts known as capsule body which is longer part and the capsule cap which is shorter part the drug substance is placed in the body and the caps are slided over it hence enclosing the drug substance now what are the steps required for the production of hard gelatin capsule shell first dipping second spinning third drying four stripping fifth trimming and joining and last polishing let's discuss one by one first is dipping pairs of stainless steel pins are dipped into the dipping solution to form caps and bodies the dipping solution is maintained at the temperature about 50 degrees celsius in heated jacketed dipping pan then second is spinning the pins are rotated to distribute the gelatin over the pins uniformly and to avoid the formulation of bed at the capsule ends. Third, drying. The gelatin is dried 
at the blast of cool air to form the hard shell. The pins are moved through the series of air drying to remove the water. Then fourth, stripping. The series of bronze jaws strip the cap and body portion of the capsule from the pins. Then second last is trimming and joining. The stripped cap and body portion are trimmed to the required length by stationary knives. After trimming to the right length, the caps and body portion are joined from the machine. Then last is polishing. In polishing, three steps are followed. First, pan polishing. Kota pan is used to dust and polish. Then second, cloth dusting. Capsule are rubbed with the cloth. And last is brushing. Capsule are filled under the soft rotating brush. Now coming to the sizes of capsule. The largest size of the capsule is number 000 and the smallest size is number 5. So these are the sizes of capsule. Now what is step required for the filling of capsule? First is rectification. Empty capsule are oriented so that all points in same direction that is body ends downward. Then second separation of body and caps. Vacuum applied body pull down into lower portion of split bushing and split filling rings. Third dosing and filling materials fourth joining and ejection capsule are joined by peg rings it forces the capsule body against the closing plates filled capsule are ejected via compressor air and last is collection now the quality control test of capsule whether capsule are produced on a small scale or large scale all of them are required to pass through certain tests that is quality control test to test the quality of the finished product. First test is disintegration test. Second weight variation. Third dissolution test. Fifth assay. Sixth content uniformity. Seventh stability testing. And last is moisture permeation test. First is disintegration test. The disintegration test determines the whether capsule disintegrated with a prescribed time when placed in a liquid medium under the prescribed integral conditions. Now what method required for disintegration test? According to British Pharmacopoeia and which applies to both hard and soft capsule, introduce one capsule in each tube and suspend the apparatus in a beaker containing 60 ml water at 37 degrees Celsius. If hard capsule float on surface of water, the disc may be added. Operate the apparatus for 30 minutes. Remove the assembly from the liquid. Then third is the capsule pass the test if no residue remains on the screen of the apparatus or if the residue remains it consists of fragments shell or if a soft mass with no palpable core if the disc is used any residue is remaining on its lower surface it should only consist of fragments of shells then second method is weight variation weight 20 capsule individually and determine the average weight the individual weight should be within limit of 90 to 110 percent of average weight if not all capsule fall with in the limit weight 20 capsule individually then remove the net content of each capsule with the aid of a small brush weigh the empty shell individually and weight of content individually is equal to the weight of shell minus gross weight then determine the average net content from the sum of individual net weight and after that determine the difference between each individual net content and average net content now coming to the third test that is dissolution test the dissolution test is carried out using the dissolution apparatus official in both the united states pharmacopoeia and in indian pharmacopoeia the capsule is placed in a basket and the basket is immersed in the dissolution medium and caused to rotate at a specific speed the dissolution medium is held in a covered of 1000 ml glass 
vessels and maintain at 370 celsius plus 0.5 degree celsius by means of a constant temperature suitable water bath then apparatus one which is rotating basket dissolution apparatus for this a small wire mesh is required and the size of basket is 22 at rotating speed of 25 to 150 rpm dissolution medium high from the bottom of the vessels that's that is 23 to 27 mm then apparatus 2 rotating paddle dissolution apparatus the size of small wire mesh is 22 dissolution medium height from the bottom of the vessel that is 23 to 27 mm at the rotating speed of 25 to 150 rpm same as apparatus 1 then content uniformity this test is applicable to all capsules which are meant for oral administration for this test a sample of the content is assayed as described in individual monograph and the values calculated which must comply with the prescribed standard content uniformity 30 capsules are selected and 10 of these are assayed individually at least 9 of these contain 85 to 115 percent of drug and non contain below 75 to 125 percent of drug if 1 to 3 of them fall outside of 85 to 115 percent limits the remaining 20 capsule are individually assayed and the requirement are met if no few then 27 contain 85 to 115 percent of drug and none contain less than 75 to 125 percent of drug now the last test is moisture permeation test the degree and the rate of moisture permeation is determined by packaging the dosage unit together with a color revealing desiccant palette then expose the packed unit to known relative humidity over a specific time and observe the desiccant palette for color change if any change in color indicates absorption of moisture by measuring pre-test weight and protest weight of palette then amount can be calculated 